am Sanjeev. I am Sanjeev Banerjee and uh, Head of Business Development in Southeast Asia and India for Electrical and Electronics, specifically working for e-mobility now in this, uh, this forum. And uh, uh, about Sika, Sika is a business company, more than 100 years uh, uh, presence in the globally and we are one of the leader in uh, supplying of different kind of bonding, sealing, enforcement, dampening and protection solution for uh, automotive, transportation and other area. So uh, since we are already there in the transportation and automotive systems, so now uh, phase change comes from the IC engine to the battery things. So we also have a various product to support uh, uh, on the battery safety part. And on battery safety part, what we can support is uh, that as a thermal management systems, we have thermal interface materials for gap fillers and adhesive which can actually fa faster dissipate the heat when the cells heated up that will save the battery uh, in terms of fire and other things and also we have a pacifier system which when the thermal materials is not working properly then we have a pacifier system when there is a fire start uh, the, the fire will be hold inside the battery and that will give the evacuation time of the passenger uh, uh, in a longer way, almost uh, 30 minutes they will get to have a evacuation time. So this is the uh, basically about the Sika. Yeah, the innovation is you know Sika is always innovative in the when times comes uh, in the in the in the uh, different requirement. First is that the thermal protection system. So we have uh, various baskets, various chemistry. People are using maybe a MMA technology. They are using epoxy. They are using polyurethane. So we also see the the directions of the having thermal conductivity in all this chemistry. So we are working on that directions rather than focusing only on one particular chemistry. Then second is that how to reduce the weight of the battery pack. That is also important. So it's a balanced density between the thermal conductivity. Wow. Okay. So it, if you have a high thermal conductivity, your density should not increase so that your weight of the battery should not increase because people are looking for a range from 0.5 to 3 thermal conductivity. So if you have a 0.5, the, the density is something maybe 1 and then if you go up, the, your density also go up. That means you are increasing the weight of the battery. So our density and the thermal conductivity is balanced. So we, make a, we, we try to make the product low density with a high thermal conductivity. So that is our USP. Yeah, you know, Sika is very known to the transportation and automotive company. If almost every uh, companies in OEMs, they are using Sika products. Though is a European or though is a Indian, and almost organized sectors, they know the Sika products. Correct. So they know our technology. We are working for last 30 years in Mercedes, in OD, in also in India, if you see Tata, Asok Leyland, Volvo, they are using 100% Sika products. Correct. So they know the consistency of the Sika products. Even sometimes what happened, because of the, we are a European Swiss based company and we make the consistency in a way also it is not a cheap cheap products okay so it's all a technical products so they know sometimes they because of the cost they switch over to other things they again come back because that doesn't work similar thing like I, I just discussed with some of the people in the conference that people are looking for a cheap battery but if you see the metro if you buy a metro it is not a cheap but metro does you give you the cheapest community uh, commuter right the ticket is less and you can within less time you can support Correct. similarly if you buy a, uh, a, a scooter or a EV vehicle the cost is high but at the same time in five years you see your actually your uh, 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 your costing is coming down regular in uh, regular investment on the in, in the petrol or the diesel which is high carb in the same time in the charging you are actually uh, uh, giving paying less, less, paying less on that. So similarly with the save money. Yeah. So similarly with the Sika also. You, you, the product is robust. Product is technically supportive as, as well as the on the on the commercial side. But at the same time, you have a better longevity, better durability because we have a system worldwide that uh, proper uh, validations of the product in different university and give the things. So first of all, uh, we work with mostly directly. And every city we have a, a supporting functions, we have technical support, we all our salespeople are technically sound. So every country, every city they have a, a, pro, a, a people and we also have a vast network in the technical support. So we, we, we support, we, uh, is the most important part is one of the policy is the customer first. So whenever we have an inquiry, we jumped on that. Okay. No matter whether it is a Sika products working or not, we and we focused on the design stage. We do not focus on that that me too product kind of things. So we discuss with the design what value added we can give. So when you work in the value addition, that means you have a more involvement with the customer. So that kind of things. We also have a dealer network definitely in every cities, but more on the dealer network 
the dealer and the sika is work very close to each other so dealer will when they they wanted to sell a product they will definitely discuss with the sika teams because they wanted to ensure that the product should be a right advice and the right technology yeah we have a, a really good network we have a very really good uh, global sites they can go through it and they can find all the all over uh, world we have a same technology same things are going and then we also have a very good customer service uh, they have a, a dedicated customer service for each region each market field they can call us and they can give that and then we also have a local presence in the cities they can call them yeah mainly the it's it's actually now government is doing a lot you know that initially what they do they just do not concentrate on the on the safety point of view but they just concentrated on that ev to be introduced in india so they started that but nowadays it is coming by the because you know when you introduce a product you cannot test it everything right it is something which is called a field test right. so in the field test range you we find there are certain challenges and in certain like high temperature low temperature and then the uh, misuse of the like if you have a mobile you also charge at 20% then also you charge it and sometimes it is a 90% charge and you also say oh 90% now 10% also have to give so it's a rapid charging so people doesn't have a awareness on that now that is one thing that awareness things and then the robustness that how you may want to make a robustness on that and in ev particularly you have seen it's a design changing overnight the design of the the designer of the battery they design something and overnight they thought no no i need to make it one step ahead and that growing is very faster so the supplier also have to play in the same role okay so they cannot wait for like uh, okay i i i need a some some challenge i need a some specification okay so i cannot wait for uh, uh, three months or four months so the supplier and the supplier designer and the main manufacturing of the main product designer has to be uh, a parallel work and the same same speed one one thing is the user final users has to be educated okay yes. similar like we know that we cannot use our mobile when i uh, next to my next to each other when we sleep chunk similar battery is similar things that is a final user uh, uh, so awareness right but at the same time the manufacturer has to be know what is the importance of the thermal management